Hello, my name's Anne-Marie Minna and we're here today at the Australian Energy Storage Conference and Exhibition. I'm here with James Eggleston from Power Ledger and James Giblin from Synergy. How are you both? Great, Anne-Marie. Yeah, well, thank you. James, tell me a little bit about blockchain and I guess what are the advantages of blockchain-based software applications over current trading methods? Great. So the beauty about blockchain is it provides an automated way um, for uh, operating meter reading, invoicing and settlement services um, in the electricity space. So where blockchain comes from is this idea, it's a software protocol that can transact uh, value digitally um, without the need for an intermediary. And what you can then do is apply that to transacting other forms of value, such as quantities of electricity in kilowatt hours um, across um, networks. Uh, in terms of why blockchain, why use it? Well, at the moment, um, we're currently uh, pulling data or having data pushed to a centralised intermediary that takes a long time to process that transaction. And blockchain enables us to decentralise that, automate it, and provide that service at a vastly reduced cost. So what impact will decentralising have on storage technologies? Okay, so uh, blockchain is an innovation, um, a, a software innovation. It's, it's been, it, it started around 1982 and was made famous in 2012 um, by the Bitcoin. Um, in parallel to that, we've seen a transition in energy markets. And, you know, when my grandfather was born, um, the, the way to build an energy market was to have a, a big coal-fired generator, um, which was invented the same year as the jukebox, and um, you would be sending energy a long distance um, to where people lived because no one wanted to live next door to that. What we've started to see in the last 20 years is the uptake of renewable generators um, with a competitive cost. So at this point in time there's a transition occurring where it's cheaper to enter the market using a generator that requires no fuel and those generators are generally reliant on wind or heat or sun. So that means that you're generating energy uh, in intermittent periods, so not all the time. Um, battery technology is the holy grail, which enables you to capture that energy when the sun is shining or when the, uh, when the wind is blowing, and then to store that for use when it's not. And where blockchain fits into that is we can allow the batteries uh, to be transacting energy directly to the customers and settling that payment immediately. So in energy markets up that vertically integrated supply chain, there's a 90-day settlement. And sometimes state governments having to provide a loan to the generators um, so that they can stay afloat um, in order to continue to provide electricity. Blockchain would mean that as you're consuming electricity from either your battery or potentially the battery next door or down the street or even at the substation, um, that transaction could be settled in real time and thus make the energy market much more efficient and much more cheaper. And how do you see blockchain being embraced in the next few years for this particular sector? Uh, for the energy sector. Uh, so uh, in 2016, Bloomberg did a report on this, um, identifying um, 15 companies globally that are offering uh, similar services to PowerLedger. Um, you know, two years on, um, you know, we're still leading the race, and um, now there are about uh, 200 companies offering that service. Um, where we see all this is going, uh, this has been referred to as the fourth industrial revolution. So this is an a, a industrial revolution referred to as energy internet. So we hear things like, um, you know, internet of things, IOT, um, big data, uh, this is the internet of energy and what blockchain facilitates is it enables us to utilise our network infrastructure in a way that it was actually never designed for. Um, it's actually a, a network reimagined where um, the customer is at the centre of the market and technology is built out to meet demand as it occurs in near on real time. Um, that instant settlement reduces time periods for value flows and enables uh, value for instance in a community or an apartment building to be put back into the system uh, to say in, upgrade the battery, upgrade the solar. So it's all about just uh, making building efficiencies into the market and reducing cost, uh, meeting new innovations as they come online. Right, and I understand that the Australian Federal Government has uh, recently funded a project with both Synergy and PowerLedger. Could you both just tell me a little bit about that project and what was involved? Fantastic. So um, PowerLedger's role is we're providing the software um, for, that, uh, for that project. So it's funded under the Smart Cities and Suburbs um, funding stream um, and we have a number of different partners, um, network operator being Western Power, a series of universities such as Curtin University, um, obviously PowerLedger and we have um, Synergy which is Western Australia's um, energy retailer. Uh, we'll be providing the, um, the blockchain software um, and I'll defer to James to speak a little bit more about Synergy's contribution. Yeah, so Synergy's quite excited I guess about, about this trial. Um, this will be the first peer-to-peer -peer trading across across a network um, within Australia. 
And this gets us excited because it allows us to understand what is the value to customers from new technologies. We quite we, we love partnering with um, startups like like Power Ledger, and by using their, their their platform to create value for our customers, we it helps us lead I guess Western Australians into their intelligent and energy future. Like what we want the most really is to give customers what they want. We know what they want. What they want is cheap, clean, and simple. And this is one way we're looking to deliver that.